The Indian Navy has announced its interest in the development of a radar obscura and cloak that will shield its aircraft parked on the ground from detection by enemy radar. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has successfully indigenized air conditioning plants for Calvary submarines that were previously imported from France. The Lake Dallas Police Department in Texas have inducted Idea Forger's Q6V3 drone for public safety operations. Hindustan Shipyard has laid the keel for first fleet support ship for Indian Navy that will have 80% indigenous content. The Indian Army is seeking anti-skid tracks for BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles operating in high-altitude areas and glaciated terrain. Saab Indu has said that if selected under MRFA, the Gripen E will provide a capability to carry 7-meter missiles simultaneously. The DRDO has announced the successful completion of flight tests of 75 km range guided Pinnaker multi-barrel rocket system. The Indian Navy has equipped BEL-developed software-defined radios on its MH-60 Seahawk helicopters, and it will soon be installed on all its aerial assets. Indian Army's ambitious Future Ready Combat Vehicle project has taken a significant step forward, with the platform now officially named Ranjit. According to latest information, the RDO's upcoming anti-ship ballistic missile will have a hypersonic glide vehicle as a payload that will glide towards its target at speeds of up to Mach 10. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles that follow predictable trajectories, the hypersonic glide vehicle can maneuver during flight, making them significantly harder to intercept by modern missile defense systems. The RDO will use Agni Prime as a booster stage to mount this hypersonic glide vehicle, and it will have a range of 3000 km, and it will be integrated into India's existing ballistic missile frameworks, enhancing their effectiveness against naval targets. India has successfully completed the flight tests of the 75 km range guided Pinnaker weapon system as part of a series of validation trials, during which 12 rockets from each production agency, Munitions India Limited and Economic Explosives Limited were launched from two upgraded in-service Pinnacle launchers in three phases at different field firing ranges, and it has completed all prerequisite flight trials before induction into the Indian Army. Work is ongoing on a guided pinnacle system with ranges of 120 km and 200 km, and a 400 km range next generation pinnacle version. The RDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment has embarked on an ambitious project focusing on the development of a 155 mm ramjet projectile. The RDO is preparing detailed manufacturing drawings and developing 3D models of the 155mm ramjet projectile, that will lay the groundwork for accurate fabrication and assembly, ensuring that all components fit together seamlessly. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.